Hi everyone, this is Billy. Recently, I find this special circuit in a Chinese crystal radio forum, crystalradio.cn. The reason is so special is because instead of using this conventional coupling circuit of VDQ where inductive coupling is used, this new circuit used the capacitive coupling. It's the first time I saw someone using capacitive coupling. Uh, in this VDQ circuit. So after testing, I simplified the circuit into this diagram. The other special thing about this circuit is you can drive two speaker or headphones, uh, one driven through the D pole, the drain pole of the VDQ, another one driven through the S pole, the source pole of the VDQ. And if you don't have two headphones, you can just short circuit the one uh, driven through the, the drain pole, the D pole. I also tried the other way around, that means short circuiting the S pole and then drive the speaker through the D pole. Um, the test result shows that the volume is much, much lower, lower than one third compared to the speaker driven through the S pole. The coupling capacitor used here for AM, medium wave or short wave, it is around 20 PF. You can use a variable capacitor to test which value suits you better. I found that a value too small, like 15, or a value too high, like 30 PF, will decrease the volume. 20 PF is, is okay for my setup, which is a very big one meter loop antenna with eight turns of least wire. So it works well for me in this setup. In your setup, it may be different. So you can use the variable capacitor to, to test what capacitance will be good enough for the coupling. And then uh, replace it with a fixed capacitor of the same size. To test the short wave SW, I wind a one meter diameter loop using 60 millimeter copper pipe and there's a small gap around 2 inches at the bottom so I can clip uh, two posts from the coil. I also tested this circuit with FM crystal radio uh, using my Yaji antenna. I find that the coupling capacitor need to be uh, 5 PF around that. Um, the testing result is not so good compared with the conventional inductive coupling FM crystal radio circuit. Uh, the volume is at least half lower when compared with the conventional circuit. So all you know this circuit is something new, something interesting to try. I haven't fine-tuned all the values so if you have time try it out and see whether you can discover the next good circuit for the 3DQ on crystal radio. I will continue with the testing of the different type of crystal radio using this circuit, starting with the AM, MW, then the subwave, and then the FM. So thanks a lot for watching. If you like my video, please click like, subscribe, and click the bell so you will know when I have a new video published. Thanks a lot. New type of 3DQ. MOS FET circuit that utilizes a capacitor for the coupling, which is this semi variable capacitor of 30 PF. The actual measured capacitance for the best coupling is around 20 PF. So we use this coupled capacitor to couple the signal onto the 3DQ S pole. So we have the Arrangement like a uh, stereo headphone jack. We have both the output through the S pole and the D pole to the two channel left and right of this stereo headphone jack. And at the end of the stereo headphone jack, I connect two magnetic coil headphone. Uh, each is around 500 ohm. Okay, so uh, 
in order to record this to the video I created this iPhone or Android phone recording transformer so it's just a step down transformer uh, with a capacitor and a resistor uh, I will send you the link to the circuit diagram so you can make it and and like me record it on the iPhone so you can get a, a very good recording instead of using the microphone directly to pick up the sound from your headphone which is quite low and distorted okay so let's do some testing so in the other end I'll, I'll plug this one into my iPhone's microphone jack let's do it right now Thank you.